So I'm Adi Osmani. I work on the Chrome team at Google focusing on tools that can help improve developer productivity, so things like the Chrome developer tools, for example. Um, today I'm going to talk about removing unused CSS. So we all know that fast, optimized pages can help lead to improved user engagement and retention. And so part of that is keeping our page weight down as much as possible. Now, over the past year or two, we've seen uh, something of a huge increase in the number of developers uh, using large UI frameworks to sort of bootstrap um, the pages that they're creating. So things like Twitter Bootstrap, uh, Adobe Top Code, and so on. Um, now, a month or two ago, uh, I was on Twitter, and uh, I saw this tweet by, by Dion Almere where he, uh, he mentioned this number. So he said that um, he was using a tool, and he found that um, using Bootstrap, there were 91% um, of CSS styles in his page that currently weren't being used. Now, I started speaking to a few other developers who were using Bootstrap, and uh, interestingly, they found that they were in a very similar boat. They were dropping this sort of large thing into their pages, which was supposed to help them sort of start developing things much quicker. But they didn't actually um, fully realize just how much um, that could cost them when it came to uh, network time. So one way that you can actually um, find out you know, how much um, unused CSS you have in your pages is to use the Chrome DevTools. So here I've got uh, a sample page set up. I've got um, the DevTools open. I'm heading over to the Audits panel. And uh, I'm just going to click on Run. And this is going to just go and run a few different um, uh, analyses on this page. Well, what we can see under Web Page Performance is it says, remove unused CSS rules. There are over 1,000 um, CSS rules currently not being used by this page. And if we dive down into Bootstrap itself, what we can see here is that 89% um, of the styles in there currently aren't being used. Let's go to a different page within this, this simple site that I've created and, and rerun um, another profile here. So again, over 1,000 different um, styles aren't actually being used by this page. 89% um, of the Bootstrap ones aren't being used here. So what I set out to do was see if we could actually automate the process of removing styles um, that aren't being used in our pages. And this is particularly useful if you are using um, a large CSS framework. But if you have sort of an in-house CSS framework as well, it can be useful there too. Um, and the project I created is called um, Grunt on CSS. So I'm going to show you uh, it working right now. So head on over to the command line. So we saw a fantastic talk about Grunt a little bit earlier. Now, um, I have a page. So this is the three-page um, site with uh, Bootstrap in there. And it's got my task set up. And uh, all I'm going to do is I'm going to just run Grunt against this project. And it's going to go and build it using the task that I've written. Now, what I'm going to show you is the uh, total size of the CSS in this project before I've actually gone and optimized anything. So here we're going to dive into the CSS directory. And what we, what we see here is there's a minified version of Bootstrap, 120 KB. We have normalize in here and a few other CSS files. That's great. Let's actually go back out to um, the sort of optimized production version of our application, which now has uh, CSS that we're not using removed. We're now down to 13 kilobytes of tidied up Bootstrap CSS and 5 kilobytes for everything else that we're using. So on top of best practices like minification and gzipping, you can actually get a long way with removing um, unused CSS in your pages. Um, so in this case, the project that I've created is uh, actually using a, a relatively new node module called UnCSS um, by a, a guy named Giacomo Martino. But basically what this, uh, this module does is it parses all of your pages, figures out what CSS styles you're actually using, compares it against the, the CSS files you're including in your pages, um, and then just strips out anything it thinks that you're not actually using. Um, now, this process is actually fairly accurate. So if we take a look um, at the, the optimized build once again, and I go through these pages, it looks the exact same um, as the version that I had earlier that didn't have the unused CSS removed. But in this case, if we go down um, back to the audits panel and I run a new profile of this page, what you'll see is that we now only have um, 100 CSS rules which aren't being used. And the total network cost of this, so we've gone down to about 18 kilobytes um, in total. So what is that? We've got, we used to have, looking at the network graph here, we used to have, uh, what is it? used to have over 120 KBs of CSS here. And once you start including everything in there, gone down to around 18. 
Now this process isn't perfect by any means. There are complex CSS selectors which uh, the task doesn't yet fully capture. Um, we are currently exploring using uh, a better parser, actually using Phantom JS to correctly figure out all the styles that you're using. But this is actually quite an interesting project. Uh, in the past, there have been a number of efforts to um, you know, let you figure out what unused styles you have in your pages, but this actually helps you remove them at build time in a very automatic way that's, that's easy to use. Um, so the task is available um, on GitHub. Uh, if you're looking for a quick uh, URL to get to it, it's just bit slash ly um, slash on CSS. And uh, yeah, I would love um, for people to try it out. Let me know what you think. Um, if you, you know, find that it's actually useful on your projects. But um, that's it for me. I hope that you find this task useful.